Hello you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another play review and today I'm going to be reviewing Sergio Ramos and now this player is one of the most expensive players I have played with he did cost me 120,000 coins, some more bursts are uh, down the bottom but yeah, he's a pretty decent player and um, obviously uh, he's going to be decent, be worth um, be, like having to be worth that, that many coins but to be honest, I didn't think he was worth that them coins if I'm going to be brutally honest um, I didn't see him any better to someone like Pepe. I, I thought, I thought when I played with Pepe, I thought he was absolutely outstanding. And Ramos, I thought he was, he was good. He was very good, but worth 120,000 coins? I don't think so. I'd rather, I'd rather save the 100k and, uh, and spend it on the on the rest of the team. But it, obviously, if you have enough money, then you would want to play with, um, with Ramos over Pepe, just because he is a tiny little bit better generally in uh, some of the tackling stats and that sort of thing. But honestly, he's not worth the, uh, worth the money. I'm just going to go through his in-game stats now, he has 83 ball control, 74 crossing, 73 curve, 66 dribbling, 59 finishing, 62 free kicks, 89 heading, 70 long passing, 75, 75, 55 long shots, 84 marking, 66 penalties, uh, as for 66 yards high, um, 78 short passing, 71 shot power, 89 sliding tackle, 86 standing tackle, 55 volleys, 79 acceleration, 84 agility, 60 balance, 70, 70, 93 jumping, 78 reactions, 79 sprint speed, 86 stamina, 83 strength, 85 aggression, 52 positioning, 87 interceptions, and 63 vision. Now, there are some okay stats, nothing too special, or the, st the stats that he does need are quite good to be fair. He does have quite good strength there, 83, he does also has quite good agility, 84. Which is the main ones you need to look at, um, like for, like for movement. Um, he also has good jumping, 92 jumping. Uh, his, his tackling is very good. Uh, he has pretty good speed for defender. Uh, he can always get back, but uh, his work rates really aren't the best because he has high attacking work rate and only medium defensive. As a centre back, you really want uh, someone who's more defensive than that. And uh, just didn't just didn't like him to be honest. He's also only six foot tall, which is a bit disappointing, uh, seeing how he's uh, so good in the air. You got great jumping, but it's just a bit too small. If he was just a few inches taller, <laughs> every inch matters <laughs> because um, he's just a bit too small. He can't quite get to the headers, and when he does, it just hits him on, to hits him on top of the head and just goes uh, goes over. But um, pretty disappointing player to be honest. I thought I'm going to give him a six out of ten purely purely because of the price. He's not worth it. Uh, save the team, for, uh, save the money for to spend elsewhere on the team. Um, and yeah, but obviously he is a good player. I'm not going to say too like too many bad things about him. He is a very good player. Uh, obviously, being worth that much money, he has to be good. Uh, he's 87 mode, which is one of the highest rated defenders in the game, and uh, some good good defensive stats there. Uh, I thought the same about like a player like Vidic. He, I don't think I didn't think he was worth it. I haven't played Thiago Silva yet. I'm planning on using him soon, so we'll come back to you with that. If he's better or worse than Ramos, I will also mention that. So, anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the episode. If you have, please do leave it a like, and I'll see you next time.